Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to display an image on the GUI of the Java programming language. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to go to file and click on new. Then click on Java project. Here we need to write any name, okay? like project 356 you can write any other name of your own choice click on finish and our project has been created now click on the expansion button go to src folder right click on it and click on class here we need to write class 1 2 3 or any other name it's it's, it's, it depends upon our choice. Now tick the public static void main function. Now we can see that we got our public static void main function and one public class. So first of all, we need to import certain library class. Okay, you can say that we are just importing class, but it will act like as a library. Okay in java so we will import java dot awt dot static now with the help of this class we can draw our image on the canvas or gui now we can see that we have public classes one two three now we will write extends canvas sorry C is capital extends canvas. It, this thing is used for to like if our image is too large, okay. So with the help of this, it will help us to draw the right image on the right place, okay. If it is big, it's okay. So ex you need to write extends canvas. Okay, now after this is done, we need to declare our uh, our function and which is paint function so we will write public void paint okay public void paint and here in the parameter brackets we need to write graphics g okay as a parameter is a parsing parameter of this paint function and what you need to do is to because whenever this paint function will be called or like uh, you can see that our g is parameter g is our parameter so it is given to this paint function and certain certain things certain methods uh, sorry certain like uh, certain actions will be performed inside this paint function okay and then like uh, after we got our output okay so this is a parameter of graphics type now first we need to create create an object of toolkit class now toolkit is the class which actually helps us to like uh, like to draw the image so we will write toolkit t is equal to toolkit equal to toolkit dot get default toolkit okay so we actually now what happened now toolkit now we have made an object of this toolkit class which will help us to get all this method that is get default toolkit and because uh, we have placed there like this point why it is so because this thing belongs to toolkit main class and this t represents now all these things all these methods and classes okay so now after this is done we will declare a variable or object of image class and we will write img i this is type and this is object class and object is equal to t dot get image t dot get image okay 
now sorry this is get image and we will uh, write here the link okay link of the class and what is the link can we go for certain like uh, here we have this thing we will go to property this is our image we will copy here the path we need to paste it out here and the case dot jpeg so this is our path of the image and all after get image will get the image from this path and store it inside this variable i or object i so now g dot draw image draw image will draw our image on canvas okay so draw image okay wait it is draw image okay where g dot draw image so it will be i comma 620 comma sorry comma anything okay comma this so now what now what it will do it will do it will take the parameters g dot draw image draw image is the function or method we use to draw image and which image that is i image i on which location 620 is the value of x-axis 300 is the value of y-axis and this means that this is actually a keyword we use to correspond to the instance instance variables of the class rather than the local variable so this is why we we used here the this keyword so here this is i 620 and 300 so now our public white paint function is completed now we will go to public static void main so here we need to write our class class 1 2 3 so we will write here class one two three we will declare an object is equal to m m is our object object and why we used to declare objects here because we want to fetch certain functions class one two three m is equal to new class one two three and this is a standard way to declare an object of a particular class because we, we want to fetch certain functions with the help of this instance variable or object or anything you want to say this image you can write any other thing like abc or any other variable name here so here now we got this thing and now we will write j frame j frame f is equal to new j frame new j frame again a class and one object okay again a class and one object so j frame is equal to oh, sorry import j frame dot they said that j frame f is equal to new j frame create class j frame or okay wait equal to new j frame okay now we got this thing that is new j frame now our f is an object and it will create a new frame for us a new frame means that a new gui canvas okay so here it will say f dot aid m okay now m is m will be taken from where m is this thing f dot m okay f dot a it is for adding okay like we want to introduce our variable m inside this frame okay so f dot add m now f dot set size now we will try to set the size of our ggy f dot set size so we will go for like uh, 600 comma 600 okay 
it's just like the pixel or size like x length cross width okay and f dot set visible because we want that our function or uh, our uh, picture needs to be needs to be visible okay so now our code is completed okay now we will run our main program and we will see that either we can display or not so okay now we can see that either now you can see that our picture has been displayed on our canvas okay uh, we can change the location by altering this thing okay like uh, this thing 620 we can go for 320 and this thing and this thing okay so hopefully you got the concept that how you can draw an image in java with the help of eclipse id so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe